It's fair to criticise how Manchester United handled David Deegie's departure from the club after 12 years at Old Trafford. But the choice they choose to replace him should be less of a contentious issue. Especially if Andre Onana succeeds Digi in the manner that is anticipated. In terms of style and where Manchester United may go, it might be a significant signing, according to DR John Harrison, a rising star in the field of custodian analysis. Andre Onana fits the bill for the custodian they were looking for, according to the expert. They may need to make a move like this to advance in the Champions League and go from finishing in the top four and winning cups to a title challenge. If you want to finish in the top four, Digi was a very good custodian, but throughout the course of the season, you will face more shots with him than you would if you had someone in goal who was better at stopping shots before they ever started, and it restricts what your team can accomplish if you can't use the custodian in the build-up as much. Manchester United supporters will be hoping that Onana raises the ceiling so you can move that level higher. Harrison is the director of data science at Goalkeeper XG Goalkeeper. Com, which has developed a model that makes it possible to measure everything goalies do and more clearly explain the effects of their activities. Their knowledge is used by international football clubs and authorities that play at the greatest level. Goalkeeper XG's study further analyzes the position, allowing them to determine whether goalkeepers are making the best judgments or whether certain shots should be stopped. Based on the kinds of conditions that various clubs frequently encounter, they may also determine the optimum form of custodian that each requires. In the instance of United, 68% of Digi's effort during the 2017-18 season was shot-stopping, 28% was shooting prevention, and only 4% was distribution. Digi ranked 36th in terms of shot-preventing actions, 20th in terms of distribution, and 5th out of 39 Premier League goalies in those areas according to goalkeeper XG's research. Harrison stated, he wasn't the worst custodian in the league. He finished in the top quarter, ranking 10th overall. But for Manchester United and a man making £375,000 per week, they need a player in the top two or three. They don't want one in the top quarter. I believe it was wise of United to replace Digi and not extend his contract. His position as the best shot stopper during his prime outweighed the fact that he was a mediocre distributor and a support preventer, the author said. But that's not the case now. Eric Ten Hag's desire to adopt a new style, which frequently gave the impression that he was uncomfortable with it, was a significant and related difficulty for Digi. The strain on whoever was in goal rose as United took a lot more short goal kicks. Due to Digi's limitations, Ten Hag's ideas to play a higher line were evidently cut back. They also decreased how frequently they sent the ball back to him and began playing out from the back. With Onana's approach being so radically different from Digi's, those ideas will once again be on the forefront. 
He graduated from Barcelona's renowned La Masia program but already possessed some of the traits that have become emblematic of their players. In this example, a comfort in possession where they're utilizing either foot to play short or long. He spent a lot of time at Barcelona honing his ability to read the game and identify an and mock teammate while distributing, something he demonstrated against Manchester City in the Champions League final on the largest platform possible. A teenage Onana, who was influenced by Manuel Neuer's sweeper-keeper approach, also had a game-changing moment while watching the German in the 2010 World Cup. Harrison predicted that the distribution percentage would be significantly higher if they signed Onana because they would pass the ball back more frequently, prevent more shots by cross-claiming and sweeping, and expose him to more through balls than they did last year. Due to the fact that sweeping was not one of his talents, Digi had very few challenges, which is related to the team playing deeper. Onana will assist Manchester United in maintaining control of the ball and recycling it. But he also has the serenity and eye for a deadly pass that may entice opponents to open up their defences and make it easier for his team's offensive players. Teams will attempt to sit and make a deep block in an effort to avoid being counter-attacked by Man United. However, if they are up against a custodian who just keeps carrying the ball up the ground, they must eventually apply pressure. It should be a formula for success if he remains composed enough to make smart passes rather than just going long reflexively. Harrison is quick to emphasize that Digi's workload made it equally as amazing with his feet as it is with his hands. Onana won't get away with not having decent manual dexterity either. Harrison believes that United's performance in that area would decline with Onana, and he may not be an equal to peak Digi in that regard, which might raise concerns if the disparity is too significant. However, Harrison said that due of his initiative, and the fact that he'll let Manchester United have more of the ball, he should face much fewer shots over the course of 38 games in a season than Digi would. Although being a strong shot stopper is necessary and the most important aspect of goalkeeping, Harrison argued that it is not the be-all and end-all. A goalkeeper's last task is to save a shot. However, you could have had other options. As good as a superb shot stopper may be an outstanding shot preventer, the Premier League will benefit greatly from Onana's presence. Meeting him will be quite thrilling. The limits of goalkeeping will only be pushed farther and further ahead by him. Making blunders may be expected if you do it the way the 27-year-old does. Onana's strategy involves taking on certain risky positions and decisions with a great potential for payoff. Although he is fully aware of the risks, he enjoys the pressure and is unafraid because he believes that if his team benefits as a consequence of his efforts, then all would have been worthwhile. Ironically, his youthful Ajax teams freeze up against United's senior players in the 2017 Europa League final was the last time he experienced anxiety on the pitch. He made a promise to never do it again afterward, which is fantastic news for United now that he has joined them. Harrison said, he may pull an Allison, hit the ground running, and be absolutely fine. It will be thrilling for Manchester United and their supporters, 
but I wouldn't judge him too harshly if he makes a few early errors. He's undoubtedly one of those goalkeepers who is so proactive that the good will ultimately outweigh the bad. He is a custodian that you would pay to see because you want to see what he is doing.